In this video, we'll explore layer masking, an essential part of designing in Photoshop when you want to combine images. I'll start out by clicking the eye icon on the sun layer, just so we have a better view of the image below. I think this sky in the landscape layer is actually pretty dull, so I'd like to replace it with another sky. We have the sky layer right here that we can use, which is completely hidden by the landscape layer above it. I'll hide the landscape layer just for a second so you can see the dramatic sky and the clouds on the sky layer. I'll turn it back on. We'll use a layer mask to hide just the top part of the landscape layer so we can see through that to the sky in the layer below. We'll start by selecting the part of the landscape layer we don't want to hide, the foreground. Make sure the landscape layer is selected in the Layers panel. Select the Quick Selection tool in the Tools panel. Come to the ground part of the image, click and drag across to select everything down here. If you don't get the whole foreground selected with one stroke, you can click and drag another area to add to the selection. If you select too much, hold down the Option or Alt key as you click and drag to remove that area from the selection. Know that whatever isn't selected will be hidden by the mask we're about to create. With the landscape layer selected, come to the Layers panel, click the Add Layer Mask button to create a mask on the landscape layer. On the mask, the area we'd selected is white and the area we didn't select is black. The black part of the mask is hiding the top of the landscape image so we can see through that area to the clouds on the sky layer below. And the white part of the mask is showing the bottom of the landscape image. There's a little rhyme that might help you remember how this works. On a layer mask, black conceals and white reveals. Now let's reposition the sky layer. Select the sky layer in the layers panel. Select the move tool. Click in the sky and drag up until you're happy with the part of the sky you see through the black part of the landscape layer mask. Another way to make a layer mask is to create a mask first and then paint directly on it. Let's try that on the sun layer. In the layers panel, click the visibility column for the sun layer to show it again. Then select the sun layer. Click the Create Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel to add a layer mask to the sun layer. Notice that the layer mask thumbnail is completely white, so it's not hiding anything in the image. That's because when I created this layer mask, there was no selection active. Now we'll paint on this layer mask with the brush tool, which you can select here in the Tools panel. The brush is pretty small by default, so I'll make it bigger by opening the brush picker up here in the Options bar and dragging the side slider to the right. Press Enter or Return to close the brush picker. Take a look at the foreground color box at the bottom of the Tools panel and make sure it's set to black. If your foreground color isn't black, click the default foreground and background color button here and then click the double arrow here to switch the color boxes. By the way, when you're working on a layer mask, the only colors available in those boxes will be black, white, or shades of gray. Out in the image, paint over part of the sun. You're actually painting with black on the layer mask, which hides this part of the sun. The brush you're painting with is pretty soft, which means the black paint fades to gray at the edges. Where there's gray paint on the mask, the sun is only partially hidden. Now, say you change your mind and want to show the entire sun again. To do that, switch to white paint by clicking the double arrow above the color boxes again, then paint with white in the same area of the mask to reveal the sun. Another way to hide part of a layer with a layer mask is to add a black-white gradient to the mask. This is a good way to blend one image into the other. Let's add a gradient to the sun layer mask so the sun appears to fade away at the bottom. Make sure the mask thumbnail on the sun layer is selected. To fade the sun away, you paint the mask with a gradient, basically a blend from white to black. Select the gradient tool in the Tools panel. In the Options bar, make sure a white to black gradient is showing. Shift drag from roughly here in the sun to about the middle of it. Release the mouse button and then the shift key. If you don't like the fade you get, you can try dragging from a different starting point or in a different direction to redraw the gradient until you're satisfied with the look. Take a look at the mask in the layers panel and you'll see a white to black gradient. I'll click this layer mask thumbnail while holding down the option or alt key. Now you can really see how the mask fades from white which reveals, through shades of gray which partially reveal, to black, which conceals. I'll option or alt click the layer mask icon again to return to normal view. When you're making a composite design like this, use layer masks as a way to hide part of an image without actually deleting any of the image. This is a great way to work so you can go back in and change your mind about your edits.